We talked about brokenness. We talked about the unpacked baggage and the things that we go through, the experience that we go through in life. Um, all of those relationships, as I said before, all of those broken pieces, those things that you have gone through, um, those past experience, the heartache, the heartbreak, um, the agony, the pain, the despair, whatever it is that you've gone through in your life um, as it relates to your relationships has shaped you into become the person that you are. That's that's really true. It has shaped you and becoming the person that you really are today. Now, with being who you are, you can you can take the good, the bad, and the ugly, and you can learn from it. You can apply it to your life. You can learn to do better. You can learn to achieve more. You can learn to rise up above all of the pain and all of the past. Don't allow your past to keep you bound and to lock you and keep you down, to allow you not to press forward and not to be all that you were created to be. Don't allow your pain to keep you stagnant. Don't allow your pain to keep you stagnant and having you to not to want to go for it, not to want to love again, not to want to live again. I'm high and net on tonight from ATL. Um, so we're talking about ruptured relationships on tonight. Ruptured relationships. Those relationships that we get into, um, and like I said, the things, the choices that we make today at 40, 50 years old, the choices that we make now are choices that um, you know affect our past from the things that we have come out of the things that we've experienced the things that we've been through hi Bishop the one and only Bishop R.C. Blake our father daughter talk man good night on tonight sir um, so as we as we go forward you ladies as we go forward um, experiencing what we have today experiencing what we have today what we've come out of those those toxic relationships that we once were a part of. Think about where you were at that time when you were dealing with what you were dealing with, the relationship that you were involved in. Think about your mindset at that time. Because sometimes we, it just takes a minute just to look back at our past and just think about really what was going on with us, ladies. Because there had to be some issues going on with us. The type of men that we select, the choices that we make, um, the relationships that we embrace, there had to be some things going on with us at that time. But, you know, the thing about ruptured relationships is we don't always know until we come out. You know, it's kind of like it's kind of like if you are surrounded um, by a certain environment. And that's all you're used to. That's all you've ever been a part of. You haven't seen anything differently. So you think that is the norm. You think that where you are is where you're supposed to be. And it's not until you step out of your, your, your space where you currently are and you reach out and you, you might visit another state. You might go to another country and you see that there's so much more to life. There's so much more out there. And then you begin to wonder, you know, how did I really end up here? How did I end up here? How did I end up in this space? How did I end up in this broken relationship? How did I end up in this um, broken um, relationship dealing with so much chaos? How did I really end up here? It's not until we come out of ourselves and step out of the places and the spaces where we are currently and reach up. When we reach up and reach out, we see that there's so much more. There's so much more. So I want us to think about that on tonight, ladies. Think about that for a moment as it relates to ruptured relationships because that is going to that is going to do the processing and elimination for you. If you think about, OK, how did I end up with this guy and what was I thinking back then? And, you know, what made me really go for that or what made me settle at that time when I knew better? And um, but it was something that was going on. It wasn't just a good feeling, girls. It wasn't just the sex. Sometimes it is the sex. Sometimes when it's good to us, we hold on to good, bad stuff. I was going to say that word, but sometimes we hold on to the good, bad stuff. But what is it in us? What were we dealing with at the time to have us to settle or to have us to be in that particular space or with that particular person? You know how sometimes we, we come out of situations and we think to ourselves, Lord, what was I thinking? What was on my mind back then? How could I have ended up there? You know, what was going on in that space? 
it's it's because we have to take a time out to reflect and a lot of times we get so caught up in the emotions we get so caught up in the hurt and the pain and the agony of our past and we reach for something now let me say this because I've said this before this is one of the uh, I guess one of the little key points that I use for myself and I tell my, my, my younger daughters that as well whenever you have to begin by saying at least at least he's not or at least he didn't or at least he does you've already settled I'm gonna say that again whenever you have to start off by saying well at least he's not well at least he did this or at least he's not that or at least you've already settled because what you're doing at that point you're beginning to compare what you've had to what you have currently you're comparing what you had to what you have currently and so a lot of times in these relationships that we're in and we go through some some turmoil in those relationships we go through some bad brokenness in those relationships we go through abuse in the relationships you know um struggling to find our self-worth to feel accepted to feel love to feel appreciated to feel the affection and attention um from our significant other from our um our mates or our spouse or whomever it is but what is really going on there's something going on inside there's there's something internal and we don't always see it because we're getting so caught up in the moment and like I said if you get caught up in the sex of it you're you're just all the way in then you're all the way in then and it's, it's gonna take a whole lot of reflecting and um, just fortitude and just um, power empowerment and, and and speaking affirmations over yourself to come out of such things but what is going on at that time I tell you what's going on many times when we go from one relationship to the next a lot of times we're trying to find a way of escape escape from what we used to have escape from what we've experienced already going into the next relationship and figure okay this is better at least he doesn't do this at least he does that so we're settling once again because now we see that this new relationship is actually offering just a little bit more than the last one. It's giving us just a little bit more than the last relationship did. So, so therefore now at this point we think, okay, we're good. We got him. We're, you know, at, he's one. He opens the doors. At least he opens the doors. At least he pulls out the chair. At least he called me back you see what I'm saying so now we're comparing and it's still not enough it's still not enough because he's supposed to do that that's what you're supposed to expect that's what you're supposed to be used to you should you should stand for that that's not something that's extra extraordinary it's really it's really mannerism it's really being a gentleman and when we're used to that we expect that so that's what I said. It's like when you're used to something and you've been surrounded by it all your life, that's what you're accustomed to. But if you're not accustomed to it and then you reach out and you see somebody is doing this for you, then we get all in awe of that person. Now, what begins to happen when we get entangled in the relationship and we find ourselves there, then we begin to settle in. We settle in. And once we're settled in, it's our emotions and that's what we call in the soul tie begins to take place in our mind. And then they, we're, we're stuck. We're stuck. And, and we can't get out. So now that this person that you thought was supposed to be better than the last, you thought that everything about him was just so wonderful because at least he did something better at least he did something nicer nicer at least he was able to take you out or take you here or there and those are the little things I'm, I'm going to real small right now I'm starting off real small so we begin to get stuck in that we begin to get complacent and um, we feel like we we've invested so we begin to pour into it you know and invest energy and time and um, creativity and sometimes ladies we're we're crazy enough to even invest our finances it's the real truth it's the real truth 
Yes, yeah, sometimes we're crazy enough to even invest our finances in it. And then we find ourselves um, in these relationships and we wonder how we got there. Toxic. Toxic because we're not healed and we're not whole and we've been holding on, you know, and because he makes us feel good. Oh my goodness, don't talk about if you're broken emotionally and some Joe Blow come talking what you want to hear, saying all the right things, doing all the right things, and then you think about the last clown that he didn't do any of this. So, oh my goodness, he does all of that. So we really think that we've arrived to the place where we're supposed to be. Mm -mm. No, that's because we were already accustomed to mediocrity. We were already accustomed to settling. You know, and so now that you've settled and you're in there, you're trying to hold on. You're trying to hold on. You're holding on because your heart has already been wounded. You've already been broken. So you're holding on because now that you're there, you can't lose again. You can't fail again. You know, you've, you've gotten somebody new that you think is somebody better because, you know, a little bit, you know, it's, it's a little dressed up. It's dressed up just a little bit better. It's fixed up just a little bit better. There's a little bit more mannerism, a little bit more macho, a little bit more height. He's a little bit cuter than the last one. I'm a, ooh, a little bit more fine than the last. Got a little bit more money. Um, so now we're like, okay, at least. See, that, that goes that at least again. So we find ourselves in these broken, ruptured relationships. And until we've been depleted and drained of our energy and our self-worth, we never would break away. Isn't it a shame that sometimes our heart really has to be broken in order for us to move on? We've seen signs and signs. I've talked about the red flags on unpacked baggage. I talked about it. I talked about it in brokenness. But it's a shame that sometimes our heart has to be torn and broken in pieces in order for us to break free. Sometimes we need that wake up call because just knowing enough doesn't do the job for us. So now after we know and we know this is not for us, this, this is not a suitable person for us. He's showing us some things. We we understanding um, what's going on. We're not blind. We're not babies. We're grown women. We know better. But because it made us feel a little bit better than the last one. It was a little bit better than the last go round. He did something that the last one never did. Um, he's given a little more. And we begin to get complacent. And we settle in. And we cozy on up in there. And before you know it, our heart is broken. It's been ruptured again. You've been wounded again. And guess what? You keep wondering why it keeps happening to you. You keep wondering why it keeps happening to you. You know why it keeps happening? Because we keep picking the same one. Just dressed up a little nicer. Just a little taller. <laughs> same one. The same one, the same person. Package, very well. Package a little taller, dressed a little better. This one, he even has the, the church verbiage. He even talks about prayer, but he's the same guy. Why is he the same guy? Why? Because we're the same wounded person. We're the same wounded woman. We're the same broken hearted. We're the same person. So we attract the aura. Remember I said that? That we give off. If we, we, we keep attracting the aura. It's like an it's like an oil. It's 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 compared to the anointing. There's there's a certain a certain sin about you. There's a certain fragrance. There there's a certain persona about it. 
um, that you look for a certain kind of guy. There's something about him that, that you're looking for. And guess what? Because that's your appetite. You're attracting the same appetite. You're being fed the same thing. Yeah. You're being fed the same thing. And, and, you, and there you are again. In a ruptured relationship. In a battered relationship. Dealing with the same old, same old. Thinking that you've come out wondering how you got back in this thing. A lot of times we get back in, like I said before, because we don't allow ourselves time to heal. We get back in because we got out of one thing and we didn't give us a chance to breathe. A lot of times we get back in because it's so intriguing to us that after we done got from this to that, okay, here comes another nice package that's willing to bring us to places that we've never been or do things that we haven't done or even to show our friend that we have someone now or even to post them on Facebook and say, hey, this is my prize. This is who I'm with now. Look, we've been here. We've been there. So we get right back in. We get right back in. Sometimes we get out to get under. Oh my God. Sometimes we get out to get under. Unfortunately, it happens. When you've come out of one relationship and you have not learned a lesson in that and your heart is broken and you're feeling down, sometimes despaired, sometimes depressed, we get out to get right back under because what we're feeding is our flesh and our flesh is a mess we want to stroke our flesh we want our flesh to be fed because really we don't want to be embarrassed we don't want to look ashamed we don't want to let him see us down so we're going to find a way to rise up. Even if we got to rise up and get back under, we're going to rise up again because we refuse to be alone. Because after all, if we're alone, that means he won. He's the winner because he has her. He has her and he's flaunting her around. So he's the winner. So ladies, we end up back into ruptured relationships. Back into ruptured relationships. Listen. Take a moment out for just a second and think. Think about the relationships that you've had in your past. And I'm talking about you can go as far as you want to go back. <laughs> you can go all the way back to childhood if you like. Think about each and every single one. I bet they all have the same thing in common. The same thing in common. Think about it. You're attracted to the same guy. And so. You're wondering why. You end up in ruptured relationship. After ruptured relationship. Because. Here's what happens. Because you've been hurt and wounded. And then you find meet this guy that you think that he's such a nice guy and he, you know, he might just be the one. Then you begin to tell him about all of your, your wounds. You start talking about how, how hurt you are and how broken you are and what happened to you then and what happened to you when you were a kid and, you know, what this last one did you and what. You notice that men don't talk very much. They just, they just nod and listen. They stroke you while you talking. You're talking in there and they're listening to you. They don't talk a whole lot. They don't share a lot of their past. They don't talk about the last woman that they were with. They don't tell you all of the details about that relationship and why they're not there anymore. They don't, they don't give you all of the details. But what we do, we say everything. We tell them their name and, you know, and what he did and how he was good to us, how he was bad to us, what we did together, how long we were together, what happened. We share it all. And so what they doing at that time, they're processing everything. They're processing it all. So at that point, they're, they're already figured out that we've been wounded. We've been hurt and broken. We're vulnerable. And there's some things that make us tick and some things that tick us off. So what they're going to do is they're, they're going to be right there to make sure that 
all of what you're dealing with they're going to tell you how you don't have to deal with that they're going to be so understanding and I, I'm telling you, and I'm glad there's ladies in a room that understand. That's why I say this is for the mature and serious women only. I appreciate the men that are coming in that are supporting. This is for the mature and the single ladies only. And I'm talking to the ladies. I'm talking to the serious single ladies. That's who I'm talking to. Because um, it's just to give you a mindset and understanding uh, who you are, what you've experienced in life, the things that you have been brought through in life has given you, um, I want to say, uh, landmarks along the way, landmarks along the way, and you've taken the same road every time. You've taken the same trip every time, the same journey every single time and you end up in the same place and it's because we don't allow ourselves time to heal we get out of one relationship and we go into the next we expose all of ourselves to the next relationship and we're broken again we're wounded again if he cheats on you again and you're thinking like why after all I've been through after of all I told him he already know what I've gone through you were settling you were settling with him and he was just somebody that you can really expound on you were able to share it and bounce it off of him we have to understand that when people come into our life you have to you have to try their spirit by the spirit you have to give them time let me tell you one of the rules that i made for myself winter spring summer and fall i want to be able to see you in all seasons i want to be able to watch you in all seasons i want to see when you're mr wonderful and i want to see you when you're at your lowest winter spring summer and fall because in the springtime, when we first get in this relationship and it's fresh and it's new and it's exciting and intriguing and we're going on dates and we're having fun and we're laughing and you telling them all about who you are, what you do for a living and, you know, um, where you've been and all of that. And it's so intriguing because you're in that dating season. That's the spring season. But then things are starting to get a little hot. You're getting a little hot and bothered now. You're ready to give him some. Yeah, you're ready to give him some now because he's been so emotionally attached. He's been hearing all of your thoughts. He's been there for you through the step of the way. So now you're getting a little you're getting a little edgy. Getting a little thirsty. Yeah, getting a little thirsty. And now you're 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 ready. You're right there. And he's got you right there. He knows exactly where you are. Especially if you are a church girl. Mm. Yes. Chill talk. That's right. If you are a church girl. Because he already knows that you have boundaries, limitations, and restrictions. And you're going to keep him at a bay. And he's going to hang around just long enough. Just to wear you down. Break you down. He's already got sister girl waiting. Because that's the one who's really giving it to him. He's just waiting to see if you're going to give it up too. Um, so now. We've come out of the summer season. That hot season. Now we're into fall. It's getting cold. Lonely. Thirsty desperate feeling rejected then we go we begin to reflect on the last relationship what happened why it happened and now we're now we're at a point that we're trusting we're 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 ready to trust now christmas time is coming everybody wants somebody around christmas everybody wants to be under the tree Everybody wants to be snuggled. 
Now, now you're now you're able to catch a person in all seasons. Now you're able to see a little bit of the good, the bad, the ugly, the dysfunctional. You're able to see it all. The temperament. You're able to see it all. If you don't see it yet, I guarantee you, you missed it. I guarantee you there were red flags and you 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 looked the other way. Guarantee you there were signs that you saw. He wasn't texting you back anymore. He wasn't calling you up anymore. You were actually waiting on his call. You missed it. There were signs there. You missed it. So the season has come. And now what what what's happening now you're competing now you're actually you're actually in a competition but you don't have to be you choose to be you know why you choose to be because you want to make sure that you walk away with the with the gift <laughs> you walk away with the prize you don't want to let it go now that's what happened and that's what happens. So ladies, listen. When we're in these ruptured relationships. When we're in these ruptured relationships. Think about all the relationships that we were in. What attracted us to that? What was going on in us that caused us to be there? What were we dealing with at the time? We were dealing with some things. And it attracted us to that person. And he knew the things you were dealing with. So guess what? He knew what hand to deal. He knew exactly what hand to deal. And I'm talking to the I'm talking to the serious and matured lady on tonight. I really am. That's who I'm talking to on tonight. Because at this point gentlemen our ladies may kind of shy away because there's some real things that they really want to say it's getting up close and personal in their faces on tonight and our heart of our heart is continued to bleed it's kind of harsh but you all know i'm gonna go real hard and then i'm gonna bring it back in yeah it's kind of it's kind of hard because sometimes you listen we need to hear it we need to be able to deal with it we need to be able to face it and sometimes most of the time if not all of the time the truth hurts the truth hurts so how do we deal with these ruptured relationships how do we deal with it are we ready to come out the only way you come out, you have to know who you are. And when you begin to know who you are and take hold of all of you and know that all of you deserve to be loved. All of you deserve to be respected. All of you deserve to be treated with dignity. And you begin to write those affirmations down about yourself because what happens is that we have the tendency to go into our little pity party and we blame others and we think like how could he have done this how could he have treated me this way does he really know how i really feel did he not know that I really loved him? But we allowed it because we saw it and we knew it. We felt it even a matter of fact. But because our hearts were entangled, we allowed our hearts to be ruptured. Rupture relationships. Coming out of relationships going back into another one getting into toxic relationships some of us get into relationships that are abusive 
and we hold on. They're abusive relationships. We hold on to it. Why is that? What is that really about? There's something that's going on the inside. That is so very wounded. So very, very wounded. That we feel that we have to accept this. We don't. We don't have to accept it. You can rise up. You can rise out. And you can press forward. I'm talking to the serious woman on tonight. The mature, serious woman. It's okay to be by yourself in a season. It's okay to be alone sometimes. Be alone long enough to know who you are. Be alone long enough to be able to be comfortable with being with yourself. Be alone long enough to figure some things out for you. To pencil some things on, on a tablet and to think about what you really want. Now, I'm not saying not to be out doing your thing, dating, wherever, you know, whatever you want to go. If you want to go out, go out. But don't get so caught up so seriously so soon and be right back into one of those ruptured relationships that you already know. Think about the things that you liked about that person, the things that you saw in the person, what it is that you wanted from that person and why. And that's going to help you. That's going to help you right there. Come out of that. Because if you keep being drawn to the same old mess. You're going to keep getting the same old thing. Coming out of one relationship. Wounded. Going into one. Limping. Coming out of the other one, broken. Going into the next one, about to faint. About to fall out. Because you haven't had the proper time to heal. You have not had the proper time to process it. You have not had the proper time to just go back and think about what really happened. And where, where, what part did you play in it? What part did you play? Probably gave away too much too soon. Probably said so much. And then on top of that, with seeing what's going on and seeing the signs and settling and holding on longer than you should. I've been there. Held on longer than I should have. Held on way past the expiration date. And it was time to let go. And sometimes we don't let go because we're comfortable. Sometimes we don't let go because it's convenient. Sometimes we don't let go because we're like, oh wow. You know, we've given too much. We've been there. We've gave all of the, given all of this. So we're not ready to let it go, especially if someone new comes around. If someone new comes around, then it's competition time. It's time to compete. It's time to compete. But ladies, you don't have to compete. You don't have to settle. And you don't have to stay stuck. You don't have to compete. You don't have to settle. And you don't have to stay stuck. You can rise up. You can break through. You can bounce back. Think about what it is that you like. What your desires are. Write them down first. So you can look at it. 
So it won't be so fleshly. And it won't be so vain. Write them down. Because they have to be of substance and of quality and of integrity. You know what I said? I said, and this is not, this is not trying to boast or anything. But I thought to myself, out of the whole entire city of New Orleans, Louisiana even, okay, single men, who out of the single men, not that I know all of them, because I don't, especially if we talk about Louisiana, of course I don't, but who would you want to find yourself with? Because you do you know you're somebody's wife? Do you know that? <laughs> so, like, if you think about, think about it in those terms. Who will I find myself with? I'm somebody's wife. So, you're not going to just be out here with every Tom, Dick, and Harry. You're not going to just be out here just settling for whomever asks you out. And you just go out with whomever just to say that you're out. Think about, so who will I want to see myself with? And what do they have to offer? Because you already know who you are. You already know what you're capable of bringing to the table. And I'm not talking about just looks, ladies. Because uh, you can buy a booty these days. That's nothing. So I'm not talking about that. Okay? We have so much that we can put together. And come on. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about substance. I'm talking about value. I'm talking about quality, integrity, loyalty, ambition, goals, creativity. You know, what is it? So if you think about all of what you have in you, think about all of what you want that next person to bring to you. That that way, Joe Blow is not going to be able to come. He's not going to be able to come at you any kind of way. So think about it. The rupture relationships that we've been in, the ones that we've come out of, what was going on in us at that time. Because I can think back myself personally. I remember one, I wanted to love and I wanted to feel love. I remember two, I wanted to feel safe. Okay, three, so on and so forth. And they all ended up in broken places. And I was married for 19 years, so I'm counting that one. I'm counting that one. But I wasn't at the place where I should have been within myself as well. I got married very, very young. So what are we doing? We can't continue to repeat a cycle. We can't continue to attract the same kind of person. We can't continue to give away so much and get back so little. So now you have to ask yourself, what is it that you really want? What is it that you're really looking for? What type of investment that you're trying to make? And when you think about it, no one wants to invest in something that does not bring equity and quality to their lives. All right. We're talking about matters of the heart on tonight. Ruptured relationships. They're ruptured relationships because we're already broken on the inside and we attract who we are 
So we're attracting those relationships into our space, into our lives. And it's draining. And until we get to a place where we really know what we want, and we really know who we are, and we really know our worth, we won't settle anymore. Not just to say that we're dating, not just to say that he's mine, not just to say that we're out together, or I have a Valentine, because Valentine is coming around. But no, you're worth so much more. Okay, this is Matters of the Heart on tonight. I'm not sure who's all still on because I think our ladies got scared as the men entered the room. So I don't know, ladies, if you fell off. If I was talking too hard as the men were coming in or you just froze up. All right, men. See, that's why I say for ladies only. If our men are doing all the talking, our ladies are not saying much. I want you all to go back and listen to Unpacked Baggage. Unpacked Baggage and Brokenness. Unpacked Baggage and Brokenness. What are you saying? I'm trying to see what you're saying on tonight. Mm, hold on a second. Let me see. Okay. No, no what? And I'm not sure what no means. Why are we saying no? Hi, Jan. Hi, Christy. I couldn't see the comments, guys, so I wasn't sure what you all were saying or if you were saying anything at all on tonight. We're talking about matters of the heart and ruptured relationships we attract ruptured relationships in our lives over and over and over because we're not healed we're not whole yes they are real hope okay now i'm seeing you ladies were you all not talking at all because i'm just seeing these comments now but we continue to repeat the same cycle we continue to repeat the same circle we so many times we're looking for a rescuer ladies that's the truth we're we're always looking for someone to come and rescue us and we end up attracting the same person that will sabotage us that will come in and just destroy everything that we're trying to build because we're still broken, we're still wounded, we're still hurt. So you're not going to find anybody that's whole when you're walking around limping. You're going to find somebody that's going to bring you a crutch. That's what you're going to find. Somebody that's going to come and run and give you a crutch. But until you're ready to rise up and stand up, and walk like you have somewhere to go. You're going to end up right back in that broken place. Right back in that rupture relationship. So we got to get it together girls. We're going to get it together too. We're going to get it together. Hi Joel. Hi. Young Love Hope. Looking for still their young love was was you know we we're forty and fifty years old now you know and a lot of times we get caught up into that young love but we want real love that's what we're looking for real love and it's going to find us we don't have to go look for it.
Okay, somebody's saying that they're not able to hear anything. Are you guys still able to hear me? I don't know if that's Gil saying that she's not able to hear anything. Who's not able to hear anything? Okay, hopefully you all are able to hear. Okay, ladies, do you all have any questions on tonight? I want you all to go back and, and listen to Brokenness. Unpack Baggage. Go listen to both of those. Follow me right here for those of you that are already following me. Thank you. Those of you that have not joined in Real Talk with Mary J. And Real Talk with Mary J. on NOTN. Please go there and follow there. Because that's actually where I want to start doing our Matters of the Heart. From Real Talk with Mary J. I want to start doing it from there. But I'm glad to have you ladies on tonight with us. I don't like when our men come in the room and take over and y'all get quiet. What's going on? You know, our men taking over the comments and you girls are getting quiet and... So, but we understand. Rupture relationship. Listen, let me tell you something. I've been through an abusive relationship at a very young age. Got married very, very young. Um, went through all types of abuse, verbal, physical, emotional, mental, all sorts. Went from out of that relationship and I got a rescuer. You understand? I, I had someone rescue me out of that. But my rescuer that I had was wonderful too. Wonderful, wonderful. But we were unequally yoked. We were unequally yoked. By every sense of the word. And so I found myself in another relationship. Not so much abusive physically. But mentally. Mind games. Mind games lady. Mind games. Taking taking your, your, your um, kindness for granted. Understanding who you are. Yes, loneliness will bring you there too. Hope that's right. And a lot of times um, we get caught up in these relationships with these mind games. And I'm going to talk to us about that. We're going to have a subject that I'm going to talk about. It's called the wounded worshiper. Y'all got to be on for that. It's called the wounded worshiper. It's when you've been entangled in relationships and because you've been so broken over the course of years that you give your all to the relationship and you've given your all so much till you, you really think that it's healthy, but the things that you've given has been worked against you and you find yourself submitting to somebody who is actually manipulating and controlling your mind. We're going to talk about the wounded worshiper. Because you begin to worship these relationships. You begin to worship these relationships like they're idols. You put them first and foremost above everything and everybody. Sometimes your children even. Wounded worshiper. So in love with them. So in love with them. Not even realize that he's controlling your every move. You got to call away. Let them know where you're going. Let them know when you're coming back. Can't even spend time with your own mother. Because it's, you got to gotta know when you're there. You got to know what time you're coming back. But the manipulation and the control will make you feel like, Oh, he's so protective. He's so concerned. He wants to make sure that I'm safe. He's tracking your movement. He's keeping up with you. You are a wounded worshiper. You're submitting to that in that relationship and not even know that you're being controlled every step of the way. We're going to talk about that. Too blind to see it, Christy. That's right. Too blind to see it. 
But ladies, listen. We have our heart talks, but we're going to come out. We're going to have strategies in place to teach us how we can rise up above it, how we can come out. I want you ladies to connect with me with our Mary J. Movie Club as well and Women of Treasure. We have a phenomenal conference that is coming up in August 2018. But for our movie club, we have our movie club that women can come together in jail with us. We watch movies together. We come together later for our sit and sip and have a girl talk conversation based on the movie, the character, you know, what the movie was about, the character, what the character was about, where we saw ourselves in it, you know, how we apply it to our lives, what, what we liked about the movie, what we didn't like. So it's things that we can come together and do as girls and just spend some time together. Hi, Shanita. Hello. So, okay, girls, that's it for Matters of the Heart on tonight. Those of you that are here, you can go back and pr um, play the replay. I think my girls got scared. Y'all going to make me lock them in out the room if y'all get quiet like that, you know. Um, it seems like you all got really, really quiet on tonight. Sometimes, you know, yeah. Yeah, our men need to come in and they need to sit still for a minute. <laughs> Don't come in here doing all the talking and the preaching. Shutting our girls down up in the room. That's right. But we're going we're gonna to do it. We're going to do it. All right, you guys. Connect with me for Matters of the Heart with Mary J on Monday nights at 10 p.m. We're usually on around that time. I'm trying to build it from here. Here and then take it over to Real Talk with Mary J. Page. If you have not already followed me on Real Talk with Mary J., go there and follow. Go there and follow, and it will keep you abreast of all of our shows for Monday morning at 10 a.m. And then we have our Heart Talk on Monday nights at 10 p.m. right here. Okay, so follow me for Real Talk with Mary J. at 10 a.m. And then you can gel with me on Monday nights right here for our matters of the heart. Oh, God bless you, sweetheart. You're so very welcome. You're so very welcome. And listen, you guys, you know, um, all of what we're talking about is just to bring an awareness to our minds. An awareness. All men are not the same. All men do not operate at that level men who know that there are men that there are strong godly men that want a god-fearing woman a god-fearing wife they know they know how to come as a king they know how to represent strong so what what we're talking about on tonight we're talking about the rupture relationships of those that are still boys those that are still out there playing those that have played and the games that we've fallen for and it's it's not for them. It's is it we have to blame ourselves because we have to take responsibility for ourselves to recognize where we were or where we are. And if we are in the broken place, we're not going to attract anything but a ruptured relationship. You're not going to attract anything healthy. So until we become um, whole in ourselves and healed in ourselves and understand that we're fearfully and wonderfully made that we're loved that we're blessed that we're chosen that we are the apple of God's eyes that we know who we are and we know what we have to bring we know what we have to offer if you are a wife start acting like one start acting like a wife be selective be particular stop stop just stop it Stop all that bouncing around, you know, stop, stop all of that. You know, I see on, on Facebook all the time and I love our beautiful stylish ladies. Hey, I love it. I love styling. I love styling too. But do you know one thing that I've noticed that most of our ladies, we take these side pictures all the way to the, I mean, all the way to the side. You can't even see the outfit you're wearing. I see a half a leg down one side. For real. And I'd be like, wait, that's a beautiful outfit. Why she's not? Let me see that. Half a, you know why? Y'all know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. What we trying to show off. We're not really trying to show off what we're wearing. 
we like our we like our bump we like our junk in a trunk we want to show that but that's thirstiness and guess what it's obvious it's obvious a blind man can see it a blind man can see it. he might like it but he won't wife it okay so let's stop attracting these broken men with our broken selves and we're attracting these ruptured relationships into our lives over and over again yes it does help you improve when you know better you do better the thing about it you don't really know because when I was broken back then I didn't know I was broken I didn't know I was broken because I I love I love heart and and once you have all of me you have all of me you have all of me and so I was so engulfed in the relationship itself not realizing that I was broken it wasn't until after I came out and then I looked back and I thought what the hell were you thinking about girl <laughs> really what really was on your mind at that time and then I began to process in my mind where was I mentally where was I emotionally how how was I feeling at that time what was going on in me um yeah I was not whole I was not healed so you repeat that thing over and over until you get set free and once you get set free and you get healed in your mind and whole then you're able to know what you want and you can you can attract something differently but if you settle you settle you're right back in you come out to get under you come right out to get right back under all right, ladies, you're saying some things tonight. Um, I can't see everything because of the way that. Why I was feeling who am, who I, who am I? Yeah, yeah. Sometimes it makes you feel like that. Sometimes it make you feel like that. But we're going to talk more about these ruptured relationships. What happens? What happens in these ruptured relationships? And why? Why? We hang on way too long. Way too long. Longer than we should. And we know. We already know the route that is taken we already know that it's going to end up to a dead end but we still be hoping that it's us hi ty i didn't know you snuck on in here you're welcome all right ladies that's it for matters of the heart on mondays with mary j hope to see you guys on next week why don't you tag someone next time share and invite them to come in the room with us i told you all the later i'm on here the later you ladies look like y'all pop up out of the woodworks that are coming on at 11 and 12 at night y'all want to be on here um but we're going to work it out okay we're going to work it out and don't shut down when the men come in this is our room y'all want me to, to close it off for just all ladies i'll close it off for all ladies okay but don't shut down guys you know the men has a lot to hear you know i want them to hear what we're saying because i want them to hear that we know how we've been dealt and not all of them are the same some has um risen up out of that situation some have taken their rightful places some understand that a strong man needs a strong woman um and they're able to 
handle it. They're able to deal with it. You have to know that when you have a king in your life, you have to treat him like he's a king. A lot of times we get kings and then we treat them like pawns because we've been so broken and we've been through so much that we don't recognize who they are when they come. So, but listen, all I'm saying is just know who you are when they arrive. So you won't try to dummy yourself down and feel that you're not worthy to be with that person that is there that to give you all of what you deserve, all of what you deserve, you deserve it. So don't, you know, we get so super excited about the simplest little things. And I'm not saying don't be appreciative. I'm not saying that. But know your worth. Know you're worth it. Know you're worth it. You're worth him opening a door for you. You're worth it him pulling out the chair for you you're worth dinner you're worth all of that stuff you're worth it okay so we get we get so excited about things that we're already so deserving of that is the 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 mannerism of a man the gentleness of a man he's supposed to be a gentleman and so that's all it is and be a classy lady be a classy lady and and do what you're supposed to do and have your dignity and your respect too as well all right you guys that's matters of the heart on tonight with real talk your girl mary j all right i hope you all have been empowered and inspired on tonight and i'll connect with you all on next monday hope you had a merry monday too on tonight with matters of the heart talk to you all on next week